Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Delhi Events Worldwide and we are on September 1st, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes and a look at world weather. Normally starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun. I did share earlier that we had a big solar event, M-class solar flare in the outgoing position, but definitely stuff is on our way. Here is the most latest imagery as a they did not update the most recent images earlier. Mind my voice today. I'm surprised it's even lasting for this video. And let's hope it doesn't last too long. I got a little something in my throat. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. No big sunspots like what we've seen in the earth facing and turning away. Looking at outgoing. This is where we saw the solar flare from the pretty large outgoing sunspot we've been talking about and watching for the past week as they were earth facing. So luckily it was not an earth facing event, but enough to send a large coronal mass ejection our way. And it is already affecting us as our solar winds have been picking up over 500 kilometers per second over the past few hours. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide a little slow-mo of that M-class solar flare. Huge plasma arc. Closer look here at 171 angstroms. Just another light. You can really see the heliosphere in action as that big solar burst lashes away from the surface of the sun. I did share a lot of imagery earlier, but this is all updated now as we were not able to solar cycle 25 is a maximum solar cycle which lasts about 11 years well exactly 11 years and that's what our sun does maximum 11 years and then 11 years a minimum having a look at the current sunspot regions and a look at multi-spectrum here no coronal holes to talk about but these are the most active regions the past 48 hours on our sun. Big M-class blast creating a coronal mass ejection on its way to planet Earth. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared because this is all connected to us, folks. It's all connected to our hearts and our minds and everything else. Having a look at Alaska 2, this is where we saw the most recent events on our sun, three CMEs to talk about. And that was the most recent one. And as you can see, the density of the cosmic energy coming towards us increased tenfold from that CME. That was an earth facing event already seeing effects from it. Solar wind impacts over 500 kilometers per second. Having a look at Alaska 3, a little wider range look at the cosmic energy leaving our sun heading into September 1st. This is a look at our solar winds right now showing our magnetosphere. Darker reds being a faster solar wind speeds upwards of 600 kilometers per hour or per second I mean big blowout there another blowout there here's a look at our pressure planes showing the immense pressure of the magnetosphere on our planet earth and we've had some Pretty interesting weather events to talk about the last little while. Of course, Hurricane Adalia making landfall on Florida. Thoughts of prayers going out to everybody affected there. But Adalia is still alive and will continue to be alive for the next week, which is pretty crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've had a lot of long-lasting, strong hurricanes and cyclones over the past few years. It's just very interesting how everything's ramping up. 
having a look at our real-time solar wind right now over 540 kilometers per second after being streamlined at about 300 kilometers per second for the past week it's been very quiet and was noted here with daily events worldwide now up and over 500 kilometers per second current space weather conditions under r1 radio blackout storm impacts expected and as well solar radiation storms solar x-ray flux showing another c-class event and as well the m-class solar flare from earlier today solar proton flux starting to come down and geomagnetic activity sitting at kp3 almost kp4 ISPA space prediction spiral not much has changed since i showed earlier large CME blast and will be arriving to planet earth here second into the third of september so heads up noah is predicting the same thing let's get to earthquakes for the past 24 hours as we did just have a sizable earthquake to report 6.1 earthquake here kurul islands eastern russia off the coast of Chimkat, kamchatka 4.6 there northern japan 5.3 there papua new guinea some deep earthquakes to talk about in Fiji, 522 kilometer depth. Pretty quiet across the North American plate right now. Nothing major to report. No swarms to talk about sitting under 200 kilometer or 200 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. Did have some notable activity there, South Sandwich Islands as expected. And quiet across European and Eurasia plate, except for Kamchatka, large 6.1 earthquake. Largest earthquake the past three days, four days, as we were expecting something here. All of the deep earthquake activity that we've seen over the past two weeks. We're definitely going to see something more. This is just a taste. I think we're going to see a stronger magnitude earthquake shortly so heads up stay aware and prepare now let's get to weather here as i was talking about hurricane adalia is going to maintain its strength in the atlantic ocean and then head back into the atlantic provinces of canada having a look at wind gusts across the northern hemisphere right now very large low pressure systems up around the hudson bay area and as well heading through the bering strait here is Tropical Storm Adalia making landfall possibly Tuesday into Wednesday through Nova Scotia. That's quite possibly a Category 2 hurricane. So stay tuned. The daily events worldwide will keep you updated on the forecast models here as they do change. Having a look at long-range forecast. Notable systems there heading into uh, the United Kingdom and Ireland. And as well, across the central Pacific and Atlantic, we do have two tropical storms to talk about in the long range. This is all brought to you by Windy.com, which is an app you can have and give you all of these forecast models. But noting here the wind gusts, especially across the southern hemisphere right now, some major low pressure systems. And they're reverberating to the northern hemisphere. But some very strong winds developing here over the next while. Southern hemisphere. Africa's going to see some big changes. South America's going to see some big changes. Very strong winds and systems affecting you. Long range looking into Australia. Big low south of you will be making landfall in the long range. But look at the southern hemisphere right now, ramping up some very big systems. <clears throat> so for more detailed forecast here with daily events worldwide, stay tuned as we will be giving you daily updates on world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and space weather. Long range for wind gusts and systems across the world. Low forecast here for North America. 
<clears throat> the low pressure systems affecting us this week. Get a low heading through Hudson Bay in the long range forecast. And as well, of course, Hurricane Adalia, which most likely will make landfall through Nova Scotia. And then a big system here developing through central United States and then moving quickly into northern Ontario and Quebec and then across Newfoundland. And then watch that trek all the way to Greenland in the long range. And we're going to see some big cool temperatures coming in the long range, but not before a heat wave this next week. Lots of tropical temperatures were brought up thanks to Hurricane Adalia. But watch for that to continue for the next five days at least across eastern Canada and as well most of Canada. Warm temperatures still hanging around. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.